In this module, we are going to do a technology overview of some of the new DNS record types that are supported in the GTM DNS enhancements, which adds support for additional record types. The resource record types that we are going to talk about are A, Quad A, CNAME, NAPTER, SRV, and MX records. Let's do a quick review of what A, Quad A, and CNAME record types are. These were supported in in prior versions of GTM, so there's no major changes here other than the with the CNAME records. An A or address record returns an IPv4 address of a given host name, so you give it a name and it returns the IP address. Quad A records do the same thing for IPv6, and CNAMEs are alias one name to another name. So in this example, www.example.com is a C name for www.example.com. Um, the important thing or I noted here that this is a name pointing to another name and that's what we're going to find with all of these new record types are that they're, the main thing they have in common is they all return a name rather than an IP address um, when that query is made and then resolvers will recursively request and get additional information about a particular name to finish the resolution. So the first item we're going to talk about are NAPTER resource records. NAPTER stands for Naming Authority Pointer and there are different types of NAPTER records. GTM does what's called Straightforward NAPTER or S-NAPTER. NAPTER is used to discover the locations of services which support specific service types. So the classic example for this is, is to discover where SIP servers are and um, what protocol they support. Let's go, if you look here, we're going to, down here, I have listed out the different record um, flags that are in the record, and then we're going to go through what they are. So order is the order that the record should be evaluated in. A lower value is a better value. Preference, uh, once again, a lower value is a better value. That breaks a tie if um, the order is the same. Then we have this record type. You can have, an, for a simple NAPTER, you can have an S, which means that an SRV record is going to be displayed, or A, meaning that an A record is going to be displayed um, in the replacement text. And then we have these parameters um, that define the service um, plus the resolution service. So the protocol service plus the resolution service, it's defined in RFC 3404, section 4.4. The, the main thing you need to know is that there's a naming convention here. Um, so SIP plus D2U means that it's the SIP protocol using UDP. And if that changes to a T on the end, we're talking about TCP. And this is how the record indicates the support for the specific service. The regex, since we're using straightforward NAPTER, um, this will always be blank, so it should be just a double quotes with nothing in it. Using the other NAPTER types or NAPTER other than straightforward NAPTER, you can have some regex expressions that do substitutions for the, the requested type. And then finally, we have the replace. This is the what the host name or the host name that is going to be sent to the client. In our case, underscore SIP, underscore UDP, example.com. This is an SRV record. So you can see here that we have the convention for the SRV record is to lead with those underscores, by the way, which is not RFC compliant necessarily. So you have to enable some special stuff on the GTM itself. We'll talk about that later. But that's what's going to get sent to the client as the, the resolution, actually this whole, this whole line right here, and that's going to be the host name on the end. This query here at the bottom is in response to a dig to example.com for NAPTER. And you can see that each of each of the values are set. Once again, the S is for SRV. Um, this is for a SIP record, and we are telling it where to find the UDP service. And then we're saying for additional information, do an SRV lookup against underbar sip.underbarudp.example.com. And if recursion is set up or your resolver supports it, it will go ahead and fill in those blanks for you. So you can see that the, the lookup for the SRV was done here, and it got another name for that service. And then finally, that A record is returned 
with the with the address. We're going to talk about the SRV records in the next slide. So let's talk about the SRV records. An SRV is a service locator record and it's general use or it's a general record used to indicate service locations. The lower priority field is the preferred field here um, and then if the um, priorities are equal then the weight is used to determine which one is used by by the client when it when it receives that record. You can see here this this is the dig that I did for that underbar SIP um, that there should be a dot there under port bar udp.example.com and we asked for an SRV record type and you can see that two records here were returned in this example. There's the priority of 20 and the priority of 10 so the lower priority is going to be preferred so actually SIP02 is going to be preferred by the client. You can see here that a port is also indicated um, saying what port the client should use to contact that service and because we got to this by following maybe the NAPTA record or looking at the name here we know that we're going to connect to 5060 on UDP and then the resolver will go ahead and resolve out if you do a dig or something like that will resolve out those two names and include them in the additional section. But you notice in both this one and NAPTER um, records, we are returning names are what's returned and then the resolver will go ahead and resolve down to the actual A record. So this is, you can see how NAPTER can be used to discover where a service or a specific service that a client is looking for on a specific protocol and then that can be used to map to this SRV record or A record to ultimately find where it needs to connect on what and on what port it needs to connect. The final thing we're going to talk about are MX resource records. That's a mail exchanger record. This is for locating the resource records for mail servers or locate, locating the mail servers for a particular domain. And in this case, the lower preference number is the preferred server. You can see here that we use this query, digexample.com, with a type of MX. And our answers came back, and we had two, a mail01 and a mail02. For this domain, the preferred one is going to be mail01 because it is lower. And then if these are resolved out, you can see that those host names then point to a records that have the IP addresses or mail can be forwarded or sent to the preferred mail server for a domain. This was a quick overview of the different record types that were added or modified in some cases in um, Big IP version 12.0. In the next sections we're going to look at the specific changes from a GTM point of view and see how those were implemented.